Hey guys, what's going on? This is Fritz, and this is the lightning tutorial. Actually, it's advanced lightning, because that's what the effect is. And you guys are asking for me to do a preview of it, like render it out. But honestly, it takes too long, and a lot of times I have to get these done, because I'm doing other things. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to show you here. So um, this is the uh, edit for Tune Beds, the clip to quality. It's insane. So um, this is it. Um, so you can see the tune thing comes on and uh, right here you can see the lightning comes over the letters and then it blows up that's different that's for a different time though but it's those that uh, the lightning bolts and the sound for it if you watch the edit I'll put a link in the description um, it goes like ch -ch -ch. literally all I did for that is I uh, looked up here I searched up lightning sound and I took like the first one so that's it and now I'm gonna show you how to do the effect so here we go I just kinda got it sorta set up here but I'll go from scratch get rid of all that stuff so here we go um what i'm doing is this is actually a really old uh, old motion track see there it goes like whoosh and then it shoots down there and so i'm just gonna uh, there's no like timer mapping or anything i'm just gonna put the the uh, lightning right here and then i'll show you how i kind of finger track it i don't really know what the term is but it's where you don't actually motion track it. you just kind of mess with the keyframes so let's just jump right into this right click we're gonna go to new and then solid object and it doesn't matter what color black black works and we're gonna look up literally look up lightning and you'll see under generate we have advanced lightning so you can just drag on lightning but uh, if you're a toddler I'd recommend that but I don't think any of you are so we're gonna go to advanced lightning and you can see there how much cooler it looks so first thing you'll notice it is it's kind of ugly like you can see how we got the black on there and you can mess with the glow but what I do is I just change the mode to add and there it kind of lightens it up and looks cool. and then um, what we're gonna do from here is go over to lightning type change it to strike and there you go you've got a lot nicer looking lightning and so that's it right now you can see it's not moving we just got like solid state on scientific lightning right there so we're just gonna leave it here and uh, first thing we're going to do is we're actually going to kind of key track it, I guess is what we'll call it. So what we're going to do is we're going to keyframe the origin in direction. So that's these two uh, little balls here. Balls, bad choice words. And then we're just going to go over a little bit. And we're just going to kind of adjust them. So it doesn't have to be exactly perfect. Just as long as it, you know you can tell it's tracked. So we're actually going to cut the layer so that way we don't see it before. And it's just gonna go like there, and it just sort of like just tracks. Um, it is lightning, and it, it will be fast, so it doesn't have to be perfect. So you can see right there, it's going, and we'll go here, and that's that's all you have to do. So just keyframe your origin and direction, and um, so now you can see here, it's not really moving fast. It's just kind of like, bzz, and then bzz, and it changes. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna hit keyframe on conductivity state. So that would be right here. Right now it's at zero. Now we're going to go over to the end of it. And we are going to change it to a lot. So we'll just drag it up really far. And you can see here that and then it makes it change a lot more. So adjust that accordingly. So we'll hit U twice on our keyboard. Select your black layer. Hit it twice. And then it will be these bottom keyframes down here. Do not easy ease these because it makes it look funny. Just leave them normal keyframes. And if you need to adjust it, just go to this bottom last keyframe here and you can just change it up even higher or lower whatever um, that it's all depending on your clip uh, everything like that so there you go that's the lightning um, other cool things you can do with it is uh, when the text explodes you'll see it doesn't stay linear um, what I did from there is I'll just kind of keep it going right here so let's, let's say we're done here and we want to switch it to a different type what we want to do is actually keyframe where it says lightning type go over one frame and we're gonna change it to something so bouncy you get this weird like ball of just shenanigans um strike obviously we know that one direction makes it come down like you could have it up in the sky for example um omni this one kind of just kind of it kind of goes wherever i guess it's not really all that good and you also have which i like breaking a lot because it really I, I think it looks really cool if you have it set up the right way but look at that it's amazing and yeah, so make sure um, you, you pick whatever type you want, and then it'll just switch. And there you go. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this really quick tutorial. Um, use this creatively. I like using it on my motion tracks because I think it looks really cool. Uh, you just have to, um, you know, make sure it's fast. And all, all you, literally all I did for there was once I had this thing, I hit T 
key on my keyboard and I would just keyframe opacity. So let's say this is what you want. You want it to be this whole stretch of it. We'll just cut it off right here because we didn't do anything past this point. Let's say we want a quick burst, so we're gonna hit T, keyframe at 100, go down or go over one frame, down to zero. We'll keep it there for a while. Go over here, maybe a couple seconds ahead. Hit this little uh, rectangle sideways square thing, diamond. It's diamond, and bring it back up. And then that way you can see there it just kind of appears, disappears, and you want to make it really fast. So just keep hitting the diamond to make the keyframes and pretty straightforward if you don't get this then uh you're stupid and just watch it again there we go so hope you guys enjoyed uh literally for the sound like i said i just downloaded uh a sound off the internet that's why it's there because internet's great and yeah hope you guys are enjoying these things see you later Bye bye boys that was a bad outro